Bon terre means the good earth in French. It is what sits below the earth there, though, that draws visitors from all over the world to the little town south of St. Louis. News Force Kristen Cornett took the 60 mile drive to the town of 7,000 that holds one of the world's greatest secrets. It's another attraction that helps make St. Louis proud. At the surface, Bon Terre Mine doesn't seem like much, but all this equipment was used for decades underground. Since 1860, they mined, uh, it's the world's largest lead mine. They mined uh, all the way through 1962 when they basically mined out all of the lead. By the 60s, this equipment was obsolete, so the company abandoned the mine. Well, they shut the pumps down also. So the mine has a depth of around 450 feet at the deepest area, and they shut the pumps off and the water just gradually rose. Douglas Jurgens purchased the mine in the 70s, okay. and he agreed to take us on a tour. This is the mule entrance. This is the entrance for the mine tour right here. You're about to become a deep earth explorer. When you walk in, you can feel the change in temperature, 65 degrees all year round. It's air conditioned in the summer, it's heated in the winter, it's always the same. Kristen, welcome to the mine. Around 30,000 people a year come to take a tour of the mine. We do a lot of field trips for the schools. Okay, because for them to is, learn the history and... It's history, it's geotourism. But it's not just to check out the cave-like creations, but how Mother Nature reclaimed most of the mine. And by 1970s, the water level had actually created a very large, beautiful lake in the mine. This billion gallon lake sits 100 feet underground, and you can take a boat tour to check out the 17 miles of underground shoreline. Keep in mind the water here is about 100 feet deep. The boat's quiet electric motor keeps the tour at a whisper level but it's not always so quiet underground. In 2007, the mine hosted the Red Bull Depth Charge, the world's first underground wakeboard event. They had jib cameras all over the place up here. You wouldn't believe it. But it's not just what's underground, but what's underwater that's drawn a huge crowd to Bon Terre Mine. We originally developed Bon Terre Mine we own West End Diving Centers in St. Louis. Our company is one of the oldest diving centers in the United States. We started in 1960. We needed a place to certify our open water students. Since divers from around the world come here and I'm a certified scuba diver, I thought I'd check it out. The water stays 62 degrees year round. Our high season starts in November and goes all the way through May. And it's consistently listed as one of the top scuba diving sites in the country. The biggest part is, is the visibility is over 100 foot plus. You're diving in pure mineral water. But it was put on the map thanks to a legendary deep sea explorer. What happened in uh, 1983, Jacques Cousteau came to St. Louis. He's originally arranged for a half day of diving here and they stayed five and a half days filming. I only did a short dive on my trip, but you can pretend to be a miner, try to lift old mine equipment, and check out the treasures left behind. There are dozens of paths for scuba tours through the mine where you can swim through tunnels, check out mine carts, even swim through an old mine shaft. The mine descends more than 400 feet into darkness, making it an ideal spot to film a particular James Cameron film from the 80s. Bon Terre served as the backdrop for when Ed Harris dove into the darkness of the abyss. Back to our trip. What do you think? It was awesome. But according to the mine's owner, it was Cousteau who best summed up the experience of Bon Terre. He said, when man came in here, he adulterated the earth and mined it. And he says, and Mother Nature has come in and reclaimed it and created its own ecosphere. Beneath the ground, underwater, in Bon Terre, Kristen Cornett, News 4.